is what I've been up to with the UAS so far. I helicoiled the spark plug thread I removed the carburetor to clean it up and I found bent jets, knackered gaskets and that's why I decided to fit an SU. So this is the current carburetor setup, single down draft, 38mm diameter where the butterfly is. I've got quite a lot of height so the plan is to remake this flange here, this two bolt flange put in like a 90 degree elbow and have the SU facing probably forwards and I'll probably just stick a cone filter on it or something so this is what has come off and this is what is going on I think there are about the same, this is 44 mil. Oh no, sorry, yeah, this is bigger, 44 mil, and this is 38. Just need to make a flange to go between the manifold side and the carburetor side. This is a HS6 off a Triumph Dolomite Sprint. Uh, they are 2 litres, 127 horsepower. This, uh, the UAS is 2.5 litre and 70 horsepower. So the fuel in should be there or thereabouts. But uh, you, can, you can get jets and needles and all sorts of these, all sorts of parts for these easy peasy. A quick uh, explanation of how it works, right? As the throttle to open, this rises. Inside there is a, a needle. And that's tapered and that sits inside a jet rubbish picture as airflow increases this rises the needle is tapering so the amount of fuel that goes in increases and uh, what you can do is get different tapered profiles of the needles and uh, depending on the amount of airflow going through and then the needle you've got gives you a different amount of fuel easy that it's got primary jet, uh, an idle jet, a throttle pump. As you mash the throttle, it pumps more fuel in. All sorts of crap. Which, uh, and it leaks. This this is the future from the 60s and British. So I did that thing where you put a piece of paper over the uh, bit you want to make a template of and tapping it and with a hammer and it ends up with this. Not my idea, pinched off somebody else on YouTube. carburetor off. This is a heat shield that lives underneath it. Transferred the holes through. I just need to do the centre bit now. i just show you the monstrosity that I've been cobbling together. Okay, so this is the flange that bolts to the inlet manifold. Gone a bit too far with the grinder there. It'll be fine. This is a stub of exhaust pipe. And then this is the flange for the back end of the carburetor. So then the idea is that's going to get mounted to that. Then that will be welded on to the end of that. And it'll look like that.
this is what I've done. Looks like something off Scrappy Challenge, but uh, it's going to do the job. So let's uh, let's get it fitted. Uh, yeah, I didn't back purge, but uh, should do the job. Let's try it. Right, give it a crank then. Let's see what happens. Yep. Yep. Okay. Again. Go on in. Too easy. <laughs> okay, ignore the mess, but the SU is on there. Uh, linkage isn't hooked up yet, but uh, I kid you not, it started within five seconds of messing around with the throttle, and this is it idling now. <laughs> SU's rule. It probably it probably needs a richer S uh, needle. I reckon it's probably not getting enough fuel, but but that idle and starting is amazing. Really happy with it. For the throttle setup. Uh, it's as standard, it's got a mechanical linkage and I was going to bend it into place just to make it movable for now but it would end up being one of them temporary fixes which never gets changed so uh, I've decided to fit a cable so I've just made up this bracket and then there's a connection underneath the van This is connected to the pedal, so it travels across the subframe, or the chassis even, to this, and that's the throttle. So what I'm going to do is mount the cable to this, and uh, drill two holes, that'll be my bracket, and uh, make something for the SU end. Have a look at this as well. A wiring loom of some sort, and the cable's just been... The throttle's just been rubbing against it for years. Nice. So here is the finished article. But Adam, that just looks like bits of scrap welded together badly. It is. So you've got the hole for the breather. The mounting holes for the carburetor. The hole for the air intake, obviously. It was slightly too big, so there was a tiny gap, so I filled that in. Um, and that for the uh, threaded end of the throttle. Um, yeah, it's going to work. Perfectly. Here she is in all her glory. Air filter, breather, air filter adapter. Uh, throttle linkage is down there. Chalk I've not hooked up yet. Um, throttle setup. Just welded a little washer to that to act as a throttle return. Uh, something I saw in the original UAS uh, throttle linkage, which I did like, is that once you, the, thro the carb gets to full throttle, 
this spring basically takes out rather than you trying to snap the throttle arm off by mashing the throttle down all the way doing 35 mile an hour up a 70 mile an hour hill uh, you just compress this spring a bit more so you don't damage anything so yeah I incorporate that sort of thing uh, let's give it a try first test drive with that there's gonna to have to be some playing around with needles and stuff like that to get it running better basically because this is a it's off a Triumph Dolomite Sprint this they have twin SUs so this one carburetor would essentially be feeding just two cylinders uh, now is feeding four um, although this is a gut plus probably got horrendous volumetric efficiency it's a low compression engine and the Dolomite Sprint is relatively sporty, isn't it? So, uh, Jago, the guy with the Dutch barge and the guy who helped me pick this up, he's got a Jag XK120. They have twin uh, inch and three quarter SUs, which is what I have. So we've got a stock of needles between us to mess around to do a bit of tweaking. And uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. But idling and everything, absolute world of difference driving there as well uh, previously you could not be in fourth gear below about 40 mile an hour and yeah it would pull forth from more or less idle then um, and yeah just blatting along the road there I had it up to 50 mile an hour um, 
you know, that was previously, that was my top speed was like 50 mile an hour. So making some progress with it. It's definitely better than the carb that was on it and uh, all homemade. I'm happy with it.